Hmm. So what was your new definition or new new perspective of abuse? Oh, just um Okay, my mentor said he he used to say it like this. Um, you know, Celeste, you used to take the train of abuse from all the way from California to New York. Like you didn't realize that this situation was abusive until you were in New York. And then you learned from that. And then you started only taking the train of abuse from California to um, Michigan. And then only from California to Texas. Like you start to catch on mm -hmm. to the feeling of what just doesn't feel good and what doesn't yeah. feel respectful. And, you know, so it doesn't have to be physical abuse. That's That would be like taking the train to New York, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> but even like, you know, someone being passive aggressive with you or shaming you. Um, if you can become aware of those moments, that's you taking the train just from California to like Texas or Colorado and you, that distance becomes shorter and shorter. Um, and just, I find that the more I live my life, the more respect and love I have for myself and therefore others, especially those that are able to reciprocate that. Mm -hmm. And my, um, my my tolerance is just like I just won't I just won't put up with what doesn't feel good because why? <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right. Enjoy the rest of this content. <laughs> yeah, and I think that that's one of the biggest gifts of really doing some of this work of inner transformation and is I think we were born that way to a certain extent. We're born this vibration of, mm -hmm. and then we go through these experiences. feeling good, you mean? Yeah, feeling mm -hmm. good. Yes. And then, and, then, <laughs> and then we go through these experiences and then we, we think that the world is either this way or that way or that we need to gain people's approval or love in order to have value. And we don't remember our own intrinsic value of just us. And But when you do this self-work and you work on yourself, you're reminded that all that stuff is just illusions and delusions that were created by a projection inside of you that was Stories. scarred, you know, mm -hmm. and that projector wasn't working right. It wasn't telling you the right information. And then you heal that and you realize you don't have anything to prove to anyone. And then when you get to that space, you drop into your heart and you say, well, what do I want to do? Because when it's when life stops being about everybody else, it can finally start being about you. Oh man, the freedom! <laughs> right? Yes. And then you're not feeling obligated to this, or needing to prove this, or wondering if you're upsetting this person, or feeling attached to continue to hold on to this person. And then you can go about your life. But the interesting thing is, a lot of people will say, "Well." Isn't that selfish or self-centered? No, because you end up being able to show up and give so much more, right? Oh, yeah. And it comes Absolutely. from this beautiful heart-centered place. And so it's, and the right people can have the energy and the wrong people can go up on their way and hopefully have their own realizations to find that their self too. It's, it's not a, wishing bad upon anybody else. It's right. hoping that, hey, you, you find that. You're just probably not going to find that with me, you know? Yeah, it's like Abraham Hicks says, um, you're looking for love in all the wrong places if you're not giving it to yourself first. <laughs> and people can't, I mean, you were just like preaching to the choir <laughs> the last like few minutes because I, that was totally my journey for the first like 25 years of my life, you know, needing to, feeling like I needed to take care of other people and don't upset this person and make sure this person's okay. Like I was always last on the list and now I'm first. <laughs> yeah. And it's like you said, it's translated to me being able to be more loving from an authentic grounded place <laughs> and clean, not like bottom, uh, uh, um, like with an undertone of resentment <laughs> yeah. that I'm not even aware of, you know? No, I'm able to love from a clean, authentic place I'm able to be of service to people um, and, and again, just to be of service to myself. Like it, it's yeah. so amazing the way that the cup overflows. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.